numbers from the U.S. Census Bureau show people living in Union County are moving around at a quicker rate. They're leaving uh, quicker than other upstate counties, but this county council is saying that there's a large population that is not being counted. 7 News reporter Colin Riviello tells us who they are and how the council hopes to address this in 2024. Here in downtown Union, there are shops, restaurants, and stores like any other downtown area. But what you don't often see here are people living on the streets. In Union, you don't see people laying down on Main Street like they do in the big cities. Instead, District 5 Councilwoman Carolyn Rutherford Harris says they're often hidden from National Census Bureau workers. We do have a lot of homeless people living in tents in the bushes. She says this is because of a lack of affordable housing. Between 2010 and 2022, the U.S. Census Bureau estimates the county lost just under 8% of its population. Meanwhile, nearby Spartanburg and Cherokee counties have gained more people. Do y'all have a number? Now in her second year in office, Rutherford Harris is pushing her fellow council members to act quickly. The realization is homelessness is 365 a year. Before it's too late. And it's not just that, it's the poverty level. Yes. That's why she's partnering with nonprofits like 4C to help bring community leaders into the discussion. We see these people, here's what they don't. They don't know what to do. So C4 is a place they come and we put them on a path. We partner with the library, we partner with the county, we partner with the city, we partner with all these resources that we have here, and people are like, we put them on a path, and then they're good to go. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the current method of counting unsheltered persons requires workers to canvas areas where those without a roof are most likely to gather. It's an annual census required by housing and urban development. And though it needs many workers to cover many miles, the method is more accurate than just guessing. I think that for the state of South Carolina, I want to say for like 4,000 for the point in time count, but the annualized number was closer to 11,000. Rutherford says this isn't a new problem for the county, but this year they will try to take a more active approach in addressing it. In Union County, Colin Riviello, 7 News. And we welcome Colin to the team. According to the 2020 census, about 27,000 people live in the county.